Okay, we're going to start the next page with question 15. One of the trickier questions, believe it or not, um, from the exam, and it very simply involved converting kilometers, miles, feet, and yards. Luckily, you are given a little reference sheet that has these conversions. I'm going to write down the ones that would be useful here. You would be given this on your regents. The one that we're interested in is one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. That's, believe it or not, the only thing you had to know for this question. And then it, wanted, it said, which of these choices represent 15 kilometers, basically? He was training, and for some reason, it's different units. Which of them were 15 kilometers? So obviously, we can't tell just by looking at them. We have to convert. Choice one is very clearly, you could even do it without a calculator, 10 miles. If we know one mile is 1.6, multiply it by 10, move the decimal over. It's going to be 16.09 about. Obviously, that's at least 15 kilometers. Keyword to at least. Obviously, none of these are going to be exact. Now, for the next one, it says feet. This is also on your sheet if you're not aware of this. This one might be more commonly known. I think most people are aware there's 5,280 feet in a mile. So we're going to first convert that to miles. We divide by 5280. And that's 8.5 exactly. And now we're going to do the same thing as number 1. If 1 mile is 1.609, we can multiply 1.609 by 8.5 and we get around 13.68, so unfortunately that's not 15 kilometers. And last but not least, this one we're going to do two things. We're going to first multiply, or I should say three, we're going to first multiply by three because there's three yards, excuse me, three feet in every yard. And now we're kind of like in the choice two realm. Now we're going to convert that to miles, doing the same strategy, divide by 5,280. We get 8.84, and last but not least, we're going to multiply by 1.609 because that's how many, uh, that was our first conversion miles to kilometers, and we get, once again, not quite reaching that, um, that value that we were looking for here, 15, right under, but 14.225. So unfortunately, only choice one works. Conversion question number 15. For 16, we've seen these a lot, or a few times, I should say, asking domain and range, specifically of a quadratic. Sometimes they do square root graphs as well. So this one you could do even without a calculator. This is a basic transformation. The plus 2 would shift the standard graph, the parent quadratic, up 2 units. And now just thinking about it like that, the range is obviously including 2, so bracket 2, to infinity. Recall range is talking about the y values. And last one on this page, question 17. It was interested in the constant term. So the constant term here was plus 290. Obviously, 2.50 is a is our variable. So it's going to be 3 or 4, and the answer ends up being choice 3. 290 is the amount he's guaranteed. There's no variable connection. He's going to get 290 bucks. If we look at choice four, obviously that's talking about a variable, which there's not one connected. That doesn't make any sense. So choice three is our answer. So one of the easier questions on the exam.